Don't look at the ground, but just the outfit. What color of shoes would you wear? I'm gonna save you. Get in here. What's in the noodles and stuff? I'm like, I don't know. So, hey guys, I'm about to go to my first day of work and we have a slight problem. These are the only pants I have and they're literally work pants and they're so big. Like look, the belt won't even, here you can see better. Like the belt won't even stay on the pants and it's really bad and I don't know what to do. But I think I might have like a bigger belt that might make this better. But I literally have to leave soon and I don't have the work shirt yet. So I'm just like, look at how big these are. Like they're so big. But I don't have the work shirt yet, so I'm just wearing the white shirt for now. So yeah, I'm about to leave. I'm actually gonna go downstairs and see how fast my mom can sew these pants because they're really bad. And even a belt isn't helping. So I'm gonna go downstairs really quick and see what my mom can do, but I'm also going to bring down all my stuff that I'm going to need to take with me. back to our family nest so today is a fun exciting day for Carly today's her first day of work I know she wants to vlog and share some kind of like before and after with you guys like I wish she was the type that wouldn't care that I like showed up to her work her first day and was like oh my god here's my daughter at her job but she would literally kill me so um, one of these days we'll have to have one of the boys go in there, which I'm sure we'll go in there and eat sometimes, but if I was like filming her, she would be so mad. But, um, uh, maybe one of the boys could like sneak some footage on their iPhone or something someday. But anyways, yeah, pretty exciting. It's her first day of work and, uh, first day of school too. So I know we're doing this in a separate video, but it was kind of like two separate really important days and we still have a lot to share with you guys for today actually this video will probably be a little bit of today and then continue tomorrow so anyways just wanted to pop in and say hello and i'm off to go to the mall with blake because he needs to get some new clothes for a wedding coming up that he is going to what is that tucker is that a froggy is that a frog He's not going to move. Go. Oh, I think it, his legs are hurt. What'd you do to him, Tucker? Tucker, no. I have to get this out because I'm afraid if I don't, he is going to jump in after it. I'm gonna save you. Get in here. All right. All right. Hold on. We got him in there. We got him in there. Just hold on. We're saving you. All right. Down on the ground. Okay. Get out. There he is. Come on. Get out. There we go. Now you're free. Now you can't eat him, Tucker. You can't eat the foggy. He's not your dinner. He's not in there anymore. Go ahead, look. Tucker's afraid of the net. So the frog's afraid of Tucker. Tucker's afraid of the net. I'm gonna get the, the popular opinion. So I'm at Coles with Blake. And we picked out the suit jacket and the matching pants. He already has a white shirt. He picked out a blue tie, we'll show you that. But he wanted shoes, and he wants brown shoes. He said it's normal to wear brown shoes with a gray suit. I'm the only one that's thinking that's a little weird. You should be wearing nine and a half. You wear nine and a half? You wear ten, but they don't have ten. Oh, uh, the nine and a half? Is it the floor one, though? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't. Well, wait. What if that's why it fits you? Because so many people have tried it on and it's stretched out. Why don't you just try it on? 
Oh my gosh, we haven't tried on the pants, we're not trying on the shoes. Did you pick your phone and wallet up from that spot over there? Uh -uh. That's it. Back home, Blake's hopefully trying his suit on for me because I want to see what it looks like with the brown shoes. But got something exciting in the mail. Hopefully, this is what Carly wants. She wanted some shelves for her room, floating shelves. So they're kind of like, all right, so there's the holes that must go this way. Wow, these are literally just pieces of wood painted. I told her we should have just made our own. Wow. I think these were like $50 or something. That's insane. And look, it's even like chipped, I guess on purpose. I don't know, and they look kind of gray. So like you want the distressed side to show. So like, ah, it's like you would hang it like that. Yeah, see, I don't know where I would get my hands on these brackets. Let's see what Carly says. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Remember how I was making fun of Ken the other day for having that panic moment over thinking he left his phone inside Barnes and Noble. I just had another stupid moment. I'm sitting here digging through my purse, trying to find the camera, and I'm like panicking like, oh my gosh, I left it at Kohl's. I can't believe I left the camera at Kohl's after I just had got done recording on it not even five minutes ago. What? <laughs> It's so stupid. Ugh. It's just been that kind of day. Pull back out. So hold on, I gotta ask you a question. Don't look at the ground, but just the outfit. What color of shoes would you wear? You could wear anything. Well, what? Exactly. Why is it brown? What's wrong with brown shoes? Have you ever heard That's of fine. brown with gray? Yes. That's so. fine. Really? All right. So <laughs> I remember get, he's wet. Move. With so, mud on. Go around. Move, pups. Go around. Yeah. Go. Don't go through yet. Go around again. Like this. Yep. Then go through. And then you're gonna go through the hole. No, no. This will go through this hole. So it's not gonna be right because you're not good at it yet. But that's how you do it. I used to do it wrong, so I just pulled the wrong side. You do it the right way because if you just pre -tied. he's got to do it on himself, you can't do it. On All my his... ties are pre tied anyway. Just you so can't, he hangs them up. No, I'm saying you have to do it on yourself. Yeah, why are you making it so short? It won't be. Yeah, that part in your I have a big neck, just calm your jets. Uh, did you pull your teams in yet? A long time ago. You leaving tonight? Oh, I don't even try that. Just thought it'd be easy. All right, do you so... like it? We got it on sale. The shoes were more expensive than the. Look well, actually, that. the shoes were. Bam! <laughs> the shoes were the same price as the suit. Can what you believe that? No, we went to Kohl's. The shoes were eighty dollars, and the suit was fifty and twenty-five on clearance. That'll fit for the next fifteen years. Pretty good. Any yep. All right, guys. I have something really crazy to share with you. So I'm sitting here talking to. Andrew and Corey and saying how I just got back from going to Kohl's with Blake to get an outfit for a wedding Saturday and she's like oh who's wedding I'm going to a wedding Saturday because she's in a wedding and oh, going the they're wedding. going to the same wedding is that that's not funny. insane that's funny so it's her Corey's friend is marrying this guy and it's the guy's sister is the girl who Blake's telling with is who Blake's going with. They're going just as friends. They've been friends for a long time. That's what he says anyways, just for the record. Right. That's what Blake says. Right. I'm assuming, I mean, he's gone to dinner with her and this other girl and stuff, so he's known him for a while. But anyways, point being is they're going to the same wedding. Like, that's crazy. So Andrew's gonna be I'll there. No, you're not. Aren't they comfortable? They're super comfortable. I know. Here, we got to show them. It's my hidden nerd secret. So I got these 
What material would you think those are made know. of? They're not like the ones that I have for no. the beach. They're the way squishier. Yeah. Aren't they freaking amazing? Yeah, well, I'm taking them. No, you're not. You had to them. order a pair. They're only no, like $14. Yeah, I want to spend four. I went to the gas station. Gas prices are going back up. I just spent $31 on gas. Oh, yeah, welcome, welcome to the real world, dude. So, to update you guys because... To update you guys, because the last time I filmed, I kind of just cut off and never really finished talking. Well, it was because I tried on my pants and I put on a belt and they were way too big. And they just didn't fit. So I was like, dang it, now what am I going to do? So I had to have my mom sew my pants. And I didn't have very much time and I thought I was going to be late. So I just stopped filming and I left instantly when she was done sewing my pants. So basically, I went there tomorrow, or tomorrow. I went there yesterday, everything went fine, I pretty much am like, I mean I'm training, because training's learning, Yeah. but I didn't really do like training, if that makes sense, like they kind of just taught me what everything was and then I started serving people, because usually training is like, you watch people do stuff. Well, first of all, did you even say that you're like working at a restaurant? Yeah, I'm working at a food place. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know if you like told them that. Maybe I don't know if I did. <laughs> but um, I feel like usually when you're like training at a place like that, like you just sit and watch other people do it until you catch on to what they're doing. Yeah. Like I really watched like someone do it twice, and then I started doing it, which is whatever because it's fine. And then usually people ask me questions that I don't know the answers to, and I have to ask people, which is pretty embarrassing because it's like they're asking you and you have to ask someone else like what do they ask you like give me an example they're like well there was this one thing i had to learn i literally kept forgetting it they're like what is this and you just say it's a pickled radish it's a little bit spicy uh, i say the same thing every time uh, but like people ask like what's in the noodles and stuff and i'm like i don't know <laughs> you that's what you say is i don't know no i turn to someone and say what's in the noodles oh uh. <laughs> I mean, it's like a lot to learn. Like the other girl said it took her two weeks to get everything down. Like I'm on day two. Well, that's the thing. So some people went through like a two week training process and you literally just got thrown on the, here, go ahead. <laughs> that's crazy. So you worked for six hours. Did it seem like it went fast? Seven hours almost. Oh. Yes. Count on your fingers. I pretty much got done it. Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, yeah, it's six, I guess. So, did it seem like it went fast? Like... The beginning went really slow. Like, it was when I like started learning. I was like, has it been like an hour? She was like, or I was like, it feels like two hours have gone by. She was like, it's been 30 minutes. <laughs> We just went to the mall to get more pants because I work again in like 15 minutes and I'm not home yet. I mean, I leave in 15 minutes is what I meant, but all I have to do is put my hair up. But yeah, pretty much. I just got new pants again because the pants I got last time literally fell to the floor. And I have to chime in here because I was like, what? So she wanted to go to Express to buy pants. That's where Alexis got hers, and hers are. But really these nice. are like pants to work to a restaurant where you're literally making minimum wage, and we just bought her eighty dollar well, work pants. Listen. I don't even have eighty dollar pants. Something listen. is wrong with this picture. So, anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up our video for today. Carly's first day of work, even though right now it's the next day because when she got home last night. After getting up, what time did you get up for school? 7.20. Yesterday you did? Today I did. No, I was talking about yesterday. 7. So you got up at 7, did school all day, then had to work the rest of the day, and then stopped and got food on the way home from I work. Got ice cream. Ice cream with her friend, and then probably got to bed by what? 11? Sure. Were you up later than that? Like 11.30. Uh, did you have to do homework last night? No. Oh. I don't have to do homework tonight either. That's good. Alright guys, so thanks for watching our video. And question of the day is, what was your first job, if you've ever had a job? My first job, I worked at a hospital in the dietary department, putting food on the patient trays and delivering them to their rooms. 
So comment down below what your first job was. Thanks guys, we'll see you tomorrow, bye.